hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this video we are going to talk about fuel cell trading under the ticker symbol fcel fuel sold as a company operating in the energy generation and management sector and has developed several alternative energy generation method over the year its appeal is on the first hand the fact that generators use natural gas the power of the generators which is more environmentally friendly compared to the combustion generator many retail investor initially discovered fuel cell because because they were looking for fuel cell startup that are looking to develop hydrogen based solution of course so few so the company is mainly using natural gas but nevertheless it's uh, the profit of many retail investor who decided to put their money in the company stock essentially feel sort of uh, suffering uh, on the population of hydrogen a bit like electric vehicle company are suffer uh, surfing on the high stock price of tesla fuel cell has been operating for decades and is a world established company with a stable and predictable cash flow in in a way it is um, it is a established company company with renewed demand and curiosity from the rest of the market the trading volume of fuel uh, fuel cell has recently been 22.7 million share compared to an average volume of 25 million share over the previous 52 week period its price has fluctuated between $4.83 and $29.44 the market cap of use, uh, useful is currently at $1.9 billion compared to an enterprises enterprise value of 2.75 billion dollar in its enterprise value the difference between the market cap and its enterprise value is the premium or discount financial market is willing to allocate to the company based on its current fundament its uh, current fundamentals leverage as assets and uh, assets and composition and macro economic trend so of the uh, some of the example of impact by leverage is if the company has a lot of debt then the market may feel uncertain about the company capacity to pay back its interest and principals which in uh, which in turn may negatively impact as profitability and sovereignty another key element to understand why there may be a discount in the uh, is the asset composition of many companies and and it's especially true for uh, for growth type company for many of those one of the most significant assets uh, they own is goodwill goodwill is basically an expectation of the market that uh, uh, that the company is able to generate more profit and have more growth than uh, other companies partially because it has a good management a stronger brand recognition bigger following online and so on in other words it's not a tangible assets that company may use however it's often uh, however it's often the reason why some companies are pre uh, perceived to be trading at a discount because the market cap is lower than the enterprises so uh, enterprises value which is the value of market giving the assets uh, one of that uh, that are paid off without uh, being said in the case of you sell my feeding is that the company is subject uh, to a lot of speculative element so this is why whenever things are not looking that good a lot of people would immediately sell a lot of people uh, would immediately sell their holding this is also symptom of something that may happen when in when a company has most of its share among the retail shareholders in comparison to its historical price fluctuation the stock is 10% higher than the uh, one month low 10% uh, higher than a three month low and 10% higher than one year low in terms of the option market which often gives a hint on the market sentiment on where the stock price is likely going to head towards the implied volatility is 
1.5 percent compared to an historical volatility of 89.7 percent a put call volume ratio is currently at a 0.49 the most recent volume of option traded has been 40,000 contacts a day compared to the 30 day average of 45,000 contacts in term of open interest the most recent volume of open interest has been 18,000 contracts compared to 30 they are uh, they are reach of uh, 388,000 contracts in term of its shareholders structure institutional shareholders hold 41% of its outstanding shares I would say that the previous peaks are a good place good place to look your investment should also take into consideration the market condition and the surrounding sentiments to determine what kind of assets uh, should be picked up for how much and for how long first of all the financial market does not reflect the real economy if the stock market is doing great it does not necessarily mean that companies uh, are hiring hiring people that uh, salary and living standard are rising sometimes it is the exact opposite that happen because the stock market is a pool of money where uh, things come in and come out going to different sector to be placed the capital may be used to be invested in a company to improve its efficiency and productivity but it can also be used to buy up share and assets in order to make a profit this phenomenon is called financialization and it's mean that the more money has been used for non-productive purpose like merging and acquisition feeds the financial sectors buying back equity and so on the left there is uh, there is for the real economy another another way to put it, it is that ever since 2008 the Dow Jones has increased significantly but people don't necessarily see this growth in uh, in tangible way this is why we got to, to be a to be careful with the assumptions that rising stock price means better outlook for the company sometimes it does not mean anything other than the fact that the asset is going getting more expensive to be bought and that their yield is going down as a result to come to the american capital market when things get heated back home this is especially the case when uh, geopolitical tensions increase around the world in order to make sure that capital can provide a steady return without being affected too much by the central bank policies and infl inflations i think that is that uh, this phenomenon will increase its pace as time passes by at least for the next couple of years this is why we will likely to see the blue chips continuing their accession even if the growth stock even if the growth stock things may be a lot more nuanced the bottom line and all this is that